busy day for Meals on Wheels. There was energy in the air. These students are wrapping goodies and surprises with care. It like makes them really happy. I know it makes me feel warm inside to just package all these things for them and know that I'm doing something for those who can't afford to do things. They pack soaps and socks and a handmade greeting card and hopes these bags of treats will make life a little less hard. For the people that can't like go out and buy this kind of stuff, it's good that we put them in bags and we take it to them. It's probably just comforting and knowing that someone cares for them and that we yeah, they're doing stuff for them. These busy elves came from the Texas City High School Key Club. They packed warm socks and necessities along with good cheer. It's really nice to get back during the holiday season, especially whenever like there's people who don't get as much as you do during this time, and to make them feel warm and you know happy in their hearts that they're getting something special for the holiday season is really cool. Like everybody should feel like they're important, you know. Even if sometimes their kids can't come and help them, you know, we should have people, you know, trying to help them so they can feel like they mean something. Their teacher says this is a good experience for them. Not everybody has what they have during the holiday season. They were commenting, you know, they feel bad that they're only being able to put this many items in a bag. So they can tell that this might be all people get on Christmas morning. And so I think it's really showing them how fortunate they really are. Interfaith Ministries for Greater Houston delivers more than one million meals each year to seniors in our area. It's done through their Meals on Wheels program. This year, there's an added surprise to go with those dinners. We're interested in the welfare of seniors, and we believe we need to deliver a meal and more to them. And today's all about the more. The holiday season's coming. Many of our seniors are isolated, don't have family. And so we're going to make sure that they have the gifts of not only a nourishing meal, but a little surprise as well. This is for you from Thank the Interfaith you. Ministries. Thank you, dear. I love to get gifts. I love the service. I sit and wait on every day. Looking out the window. <laughs> this isn't Santa, but she's close enough. Synovia Grant has been on this route for one year and loves her job. I've been doing anywhere between 115 to 120 clients a day, and it's five days a week. Some days I'm the only person that they'll see or even have to talk to. Good morning. Good morning. I even feed them and around Christmas time is so important because they don't have any loved ones so we're like family members to a lot of them. She's given us, us Ellery people a love and I like I always tell her that I love her so much so much every time when I see her coming I feel with love. Part of our work is in making sure people get a nourishing meal but the other part is to be a friendly visitor and to make sure that every senior is cared for and to get a gift delivered by a friendly visitor that says we care about you and we hope the holidays are bright for you means a lot to those folks who might not have otherwise get anything. It makes me happy and every time when, it, when she comes, I say thank you Lord for all this.